work in the uh, library and the, uh, on the film library. I've been doing that for uh, the last two decades. I'm also um, an alum of the School of Art, uh, as is um, uh, Chairman and son. Uh, so we are all creatures of Cooper here, and we all know the culture, and we all know that this is the Citadel of the Enlightenment. Uh, and I just want to explain how this uh, meeting will be conducted. Uh, you have all have the opportunity, I hope, to contribute to the uh, online questionnaire that, or online list of questions that was on the uh, uh, Google Doc over the weekend. Uh, what then happened was that I and my two of my colleagues, I'm also the chair of the uh, Senate, that's why I'm, I'm here right now, uh, the Staff of Student Senate, and um, this is uh, sort of a rollover from the teaching that we did um, on Friday morning. Uh, which was uh, very successful. And uh, two of my uh, fellow senators, Atina Grossman and Anne Griffin, both professors in the HSS faculty, helped me uh, uh, collect the, uh, the questions. We put them into categories and we condensed them and uh, modified them a bit, but I can guarantee you that virtually every point of view will be represented. We may not be able to get to absolutely every one. Uh, there are four categories. The first one is going to be um, finances responsibility, meaning who is responsible for uh, the situation we're in now. The second one will be more uh, focused on the deficit. The third is uh, about the tuition policy. And the fourth is about savings and revenues. Uh, which is more of a, a list of suggestions, so we don't have time to get through that. Uh, we can post it because it's kind of a laundry list of, of ideas more than something that uh, Chairman Einstein will um, need to comment on. What I'd like to do is go through all four categories and uh, then throw the, uh, uh, the floor open to questions. And the way that will work is that uh, I will acknowledge you. Uh, raise your hand if you have a question. I'll acknowledge you. Uh, just speak from your seat, uh, and uh, Chairman Epstein will answer you. Let me just introduce uh, Chairman Mark Epstein of the Board of Trustees, graduate of 1976 from the School of Art, uh, and uh, Richard Linzer, who is another uh, member of the Board of Trustees, is also with us tonight. So I will um, begin the questions now. And um, before we get into the questions, I wanted the opportunity to speak for a couple of seconds. You know, I'm introduced as Chairman Epstein, but you know, put that aside for a second. Uh, not the Epstein part, I can't change that, the Chairman. I'm also, like you know, we're told, an alumnus of the school, the you know, Art School in 76. I'm also a past president of the Alumni Association. And I had the honor of being chosen in Alumnus of the Year in 2002. Uh, so my feelings about the school are just as strong as yours, if you know, not more so, although I don't want to claim to be the strongest supporter of anybody here. Uh, and I wanted to talk a couple of minutes about the Board of Trustees and what the Board of Trustees does and you know, who they are and why this you know, came about, uh, which we'll get into with the questions. There's a, the Board of Trustees are a group of people that are charged with protecting the trust that was set up for the Cooper Union. And the goal is to protect the finances of the school and to follow the charter as stated by Peter Cooper and whatever changes might have taken place. Um, a perfect example of that is you know, we had a limit of 25 trustees up until recently. And the board thought that it would be better to get more trustees so we get more expertise on the board and for more potential fundraising. So we had to petition the Attorney General of the State of New York who monitors the trust for permission to change the charter. So the question is about who monitors the Board of Trustees and who are we responsible to? The answer is to the Attorney General of the State of New York. In corporations, you have Board of Directors, which are voted in by the shareholders to protect their interests, and they elect a CEO of the company to run the company, such as General Motors, Metropolitan life. In a trust like this, the, the, the public is the, are the shareholders in a sense, and the, the board members are not voting in by the public, but the board members are voting by the existing board members. We, and everything that the board does 
is done by committees. There's no one person really in charge of any one particular thing. We have committees for the investment, because we manage the cash portion of the endowment, and that's done by committee, with the help of outside consultants to keep us abreast of what other universities and schools are doing, and we also watch market trends and advise us. We have a communications committee which we started recently because we felt that the message of Putin was not getting out strong enough or accurately enough, so we want to do that double hook in fundraising. There's a facilities committee and budget committee that watches over the buildings, takes care of the, the hard assets of the school and the budget. We have uh, a committee for academic and student affairs. More and more in college settings, the Board of Trustees is taking more responsibility for the academic mission of the school, not just the finances. That's a trend taking place in higher education. Uh, what are the yeah, yeah, we have a committee. We have, we have a development committee, which is in charge of raising money, particularly from trustees, and also in response to some questions I've read, 100% uh, of the trustees donate to the annual fund, so we're participating and making gifts to capital campaigns. So we're all in this for serious business. None of the trustees get paid for what they do. Everybody volunteers their time. We have a remarkable group of trustees. Half of our trustees are approximately our alums of the school. And they care just as much about this place as you all do. And they devote a lot of time, their expertise, and their money to keep this place going. So, and the other trustees who are not alone, to me that's very valuable because it shows that other people, other than alums, care about this place and get it and know what we're about and they want to support.